so on to question number five. Diethyl ether has the following structure, which groups of protons are equivalent to each other, and also how many sig signals, individual resonances, not counting splitting, are expected in the HNMR spectrum. Okay, so first I'm going to draw the structure of diethyl ether. And already you can see, just by looking at the structure, that there's this plane of symmetry. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you want to try and find out which groups of protons are equivalent to each other, you want to look at each of the protons, which are hydrogens. And then you want to look at uh, its neighbors and the chemical environment that it's in. Uh, so for example, these protons are the same as the ones over here. Because the neighbors, which is this CH2 group, is the same. And these protons are similar to each other. They're both connected to an oxygen, and they're both connected to another CH3 group. So I'm just going to write that you should look at the neighbors. And chemical. environment of the protons. Okay, so I'm going to label these the same way they do, A, B, C, and D, and then part A which H plus are equivalent. In this case, A is equal to D, and B is equal to C. So it's option three. Okay, so lastly, it says, how many signals are expected in the HNMR spectrum? So since there are two distinct sets of protons, therefore the number of signals will also be two. Okay, A equals D, B equals C, B2. Yep, so one signal's from the CH2, the other from CH3. Solution is correct.